this edition of race car fabrication and restoration as you see we have the shop all decorated and ready for santa claus to come no not quite we're actually in my home where my wife really loves to decorate for christmas this year and this little episode short episode is going to actually feature my wife if you remember a couple episodes ago we talked about how bad the window net was in the uh, car when we got it and I'd gone and picked up a couple of other window nets in Charlotte, North Carolina But I wanted to use that original window net number one It's the original window net that was in the car in 1988 when Laughlin Racing Products built the car and number two it fits the contour of the Buick and as I said earlier I could take one of those later style new style window nets and cut it down and resew it but I thought it'd just be special to have the original window net. So on this episode, I'm going to show you what my wife did and the results are absolutely amazing. So stay tuned. Let's see how she did it. I decided I'd go back to episode 126 and pull a shot off of it where you can compare the two window nets again. Obviously the bottom one is a newer style window net out of a modern NASCAR race car. I got guys getting on to me because I refer to them as NASCAR. NASCAR is a sanctioning body. I think everybody's totally aware of that, but for in case you can't figure that out, it's a NASCAR race car window net. Then um, the top one is the original window net out of the Buick Regal. So you can see how mildewed it is and how just grungy and grimy it is. And uh, this is kind of a good side-by-side -side comparison. This is a steel picture that my wife took when she got the window net back into our home and had it in our kitchen sink of all places. And you can notice how mildewed it is and how much mold is actually growing on it. If you didn't know any better, you'd think you was looking at the side of an oak tree. I'm pretty sure this is the same growth that you do see on the side of an oak tree, I think. Okay, in the last video, I showed you how nasty the window net was and how I had taught my wife or how she volunteered to uh, clean it up. Well, this is amazing. Now, she got it really, really clean. It's black, perfect on one side, but the other side, is, it's just bleach from the where the light was getting to it was it set still. Like I said, this car set still for many, many years on the outside, exposed to the elements. So this is where the daylight was hitting this side of the... Uh, window net as it was actually folded down inside the door. So she has ordered some dye material and we're gonna dye this window net, it's supposed to be here this week. So we will dye this and we will uh, get this back to perfect condition again, hopefully. But I really appreciate her taking time and getting this all cleaned up. It looks brand new and feels brand new with the exception of the color, of course, but we'll be able to fix that. Okay, let's see what we may have gotten today. Is it what we're thinking it is? Yay! We get a chance to try to dye the window net. We'll see how that goes. Okay, it's in there. I say keep it in there for at least 30 minutes. So we'll see what it looks like when it comes out. And there is a window net. And I tell you what, it's gonna be beautiful. Hold up a little higher there so we can see. Look at that. Is that not amazing? So now we just don't know what to do with the dye, but uh, I appreciate her doing that. I was going to Little Rock, Arkansas, and she uh, took care of this. So that's a woman right there, a racing woman. But 
we'll uh, figure out what to do with this dye and then we will uh, get this thing out and let it dry and see what it looks like. For the record, this is the product that my wife ordered. How much was it, sweetheart? About $3. $3, okay? So, uh, man, just absolutely fantastic. I mean, you just don't know how much this means to be able to save this with the net. If you saw how bad it was beforehand with all the mildew, and she hand washed all that, it's just gonna be, so if you need to do this, I don't think very many of you would ever have to do this, but if you need to dye a window net in your race car, here's what you use. I think she ordered it off of Amazon. We had it like literally, we ordered it Friday or Saturday and had it today's Monday. Oh, this is my beautiful wife Janice say hey, hey. <laughs> okay she's kind of hung up in our guest bathroom <laughs> and, uh, but there it is so uh, I appreciate her doing that so much not dripping in your back no it's not dripping so we'll let it stay in here for the night and we'll look at it tomorrow well here's the results of the window net y'all this thing is brand new condition my wife did such a great job. It's soft. I'm telling you, it's like it's brand new. Unbelievable comparison. I don't even see it's shiny. It's just unbelievable. So, anyway, we'll put this thing back together. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put the wind in it back together now. I've already taken this thing apart, and I tell you, uh, this is kind of tricky, but um, we got the seat belt apart, and what we'll do is we'll feed it through this end here. Oh, kind of catch it here. Okay, we got to get our seat belt back together now. So first thing we're going to do is try to feed this where they cut the this material originally has kind of got a little hard to work with. There we go. Okay, now we'll try to get our clip back together. And this is the first time I've ever done, done this. Okay, that should be it. Just spring load air snaps back on. So let's see if it will work. All right, my lovely wife has volunteered to come out and help us demonstrate how well this is gonna work. So go ahead and put it in place. You have to pretend that's the body back here. We just have a tie strap for now. And there it is. We still have to put a piece of Velcro, we have to sew it back on right here, uh, the male and female part right there, so that'll uh, latch. We had to take it off in order to feed it through the latch here. But another window net saved from the scrap yard. Appreciate my wife, Jan's doing that for us. So we'll catch you right back with you here in just a second. Well, that was a different episode, but thanks so much to my wife, Janice, for salvaging this Window net, and now we've got the original 1988 window net salvage. It looks brand new. I'm telling you, you wouldn't know a thing from the day it was bought. Fantastic. I appreciate her doing that for us. Hey, as always, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that like button and the bell for notification when we release a new video. We're trying to release videos every few days. Sometimes we do them every two or three days. Sometimes back to back. You never know. So you get that notification bell, you'll know. Have a fantastic day. We'll see you next time on Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. God bless you. Take care.